previously on Night's Quest. The blade, turning around in its course, stabs him in the back, and the cloaked figure bends over, picks up the pursuer's coin pouch, weighing it, and smiling. Leroy, you okay there? Uh, who are you, by the way? And then he plays Mother's Lullaby to bring back memories. I thought I'd tell you that you're not the hero. What? But Rainer oh, is. No. <laughs> what? And at that moment, the door to the healer's <laughs> oh, hut no bursts open. No fucking way. And Katrina <laughs> Gorbo walks into the room. <laughs> what? I have to say, this isn't the reunion I was expecting. Just for ease of everything, you can stay at my place tonight. I've been stuck in Costa Rica for the past two months trying to get an audience from the king because I'm kind of a criminal. Welcome everybody back to Night's Quest. Here we are. Here you are. We're, we're doing it. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're going to do our very best. We did it. We did it, everybody. Now we, it's, it's done. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole show. Thank yeah. you for coming, Bye. guys. It's been a long and perilous road to get here, but aren't you proud now? Yeah. Also, apologies that my voice sounds low and weird because I am I am a sick a sick man. We'll have to think about an in fiction reason for that. Yeah, that Rainer just got Rain, like a shitty. Rainer's cold. sick. Yeah. <laughs> Once you become the hero, you, uh, you your voice your voice drops. <laughs> when you're sick in real life, you're sick in the game. Is that how that works? <laughs> Whoa, it's true though. So yep. that's that's sick boy, and so because he's sick. Um, we're Skype calling this. Yeah, we are because neither of us want to get sick. Yeah. So I'm in a I'm in a timeout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if stuff sounds different, that's why. Uh, yeah, you all remember when, like, smallpox was the thing and the CDC put the country in a timeout? <laughs> <laughs> that's this. That's this right now. That, I'm pretty sure that's okay, exactly enough, how that happened. All right, enough of this. I'm, yep. I'm sure the audience has a lot of questions since we kind of left the last episode on three dramatic cliffhangers. It, we yeah. really did. All right, so Katrina just uh, said that uh, she was kind, kind of, of a criminal. criminal. Yeah. Yep. Leroy says, um, well... I- I'm not sure if this is just one of the things I forgot, but what? <laughs> yeah, well, you see, I, uh, I killed a man. Oh. Okay. Uh. Um, that, 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 is a, that is still a crime, right? It's still a crime? Yeah, I mean, he did deserve it. Did he? Uh, I don't know. I guess, uh, what it, what it, why did he deserve it? I mean, he was gonna kill me? Oh, okay, chill, chill. All right. Huh. But I did steal his his wallet. Well, you didn't happen to steal any of my stuff when we were had met before. Oh my god! When because we met, I'm now recalling that my pockets were full of feathers. Um, yeah, that was weird. I didn't, I didn't touch any of your stuff the last. I mean, we, I just, we just drank a lot. I didn't, I didn't touch your things. Rainer very slowly looks over at Jonathan, and he's like, "Huh." Yeah, funny how that works. And Jonathan looks over at Rain and goes, yeah, really funny. We're going to laugh about it, and we're going to keep talking about something else now. <laughs> yeah, this is a great story, I remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, Leroy, it was great. You missed it, but there was uh, Katrina beat Katrina beat Grog in a drinking game. It was awesome. Oh, that is that is awesome. And then we wanted we wanted to join the the criminal organization, so I stole oh, all actually, of I, stuff, and I, then... I, I know that. Wait. I know that. I, I I know about that. Oh. And Rainer, Rainer's getting a little bit sassy again. He's like, oh, this is the magical mystic knowledge that everyone gets except me. Right. I, it's been a while. I almost forgot about this. It's good times. Great. I love it. Okay. So anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. So why are, you, why are you here? Well, I was supposed to be on a boat to Tarif, and now I'm not. <laughs> okay, but like... The parts in between that. Yes. So all my money got stolen when we were in Hidgety. And I got a free I got a free ticket to get here 
but that's that's as far as the ticket got me. So I got here, and then I kind of didn't have any money to go anywhere else, hence the stealing of the wallet. Um, <laughs> but he didn't really have any money, so I'm still stuck. I, I don't I don't really I don't really have a job in Costa Rica. So here I am. So your ticket was uh, not all the way. Yeah, no, it was it was just to it was just to Costa Rica. Huh? It's a problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're telling me. You know, you got to make sure you get the right tickets. I uh, didn't. I've, 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 I've been sold some shitty tickets. Before. I didn't pick. <laughs> I didn't pick the ticket. I was given it by a criminal, and you know, I, I, maybe I should have thought the beforehand. Oh wait, <laughs> hold up! Everyone's like, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, we know about this. We got it. Oh boy, yet yeah. more more information. So, how did Salazar get a ticket? I'm just now wondering that. He probably used a good ticket seller. I mean, he probably just bought one. Yeah, I suppose. He does. He does have money. He does. Frankly, I don't. His whole episode where he was like on the streets, like, there. Why? I mean, it, that was just, weird. Just because, like, the mine closed doesn't mean, like, all the money he had accumulated over the years was suddenly, like, gone. Like, I don't... It was... I don't know. He's got, he's got a little bit of a flair for the dramatic. Oh, yeah. By the way, Katrina, your dad's going to, uh, to Reeve. Uh-huh. Yeah, we... Yeah, we told her about that. All right. Well, I think, um... If there's... If there are windows in this weird foyer room we are in, I think Rainer is looking out at the city. There's no chance I can see the king's castle, is there? Or his mansion or whatever? Yeah, let's, uh... Let's do some some painting here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to quick ask. So, in last episode, uh, Katrina just kind of threw her coat on the ground. Yes. And so it made me wonder: is this whole mansion like pristinely clean, or is it a little bit of a mess because there's like no maid or anyone to clean it? Um, I mean, there's actually, Ulrich. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel like there is. <coughs> I feel like there is some sort of. Um, I don't know if it's one person or if it's a group of people because like every big house kind of needs a group of people just to like maintain and cook and right. so I feel like it is like I feel like it's like immaculate like I feel <laughs> like by the time that this conversation has ended the coat is now somehow hung up like like the coat is no longer on the floor but like we didn't see the people we right. just look over and suddenly all traces of anything being wrong is gone right it's very uh, impressive Katrina have, have you seen the people um, once or twice, um, I, I went into a room, Whoa! I was just kind of exploring, it's been a while since I've been here, so I was just kind of exploring, I went into a room and I, I think I saw somebody leave as I was entering through a different door. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's ghosts. But I mean, there's, there's always, I mean, now it makes me, do I need to let them know there's going to be more people? What, what time is it? Uh, that's a great question. It is dinner time. Oh, okay, look at that. Roughly. Um, a little bit after. I want to test something. Uh, follow me. And she walks like through the through the foyer into like the main living space, and then takes a right through a door into the the dining room. And Perfect. there is a huge long table that is set with all manner of finery. There are plates and like six different forks around each plate, <laughs> um, and just like huge like silver serving trays full and overflowing with all sorts of like decadent meats, cheeses and food and fruit. Amazing. It's just like already waiting there. There's like a steaming thing of soup um, <laughs> ready to be served. And there's like just enough seats for everybody. And then like an extra large chair has been brought in at the end of the table for Grorg. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, sweet. Huh? They even know my chair preferences. All right, and we're we're also just now realizing that like we haven't eaten all day because we've been so busy with other bullshit. Well, well, I have been eating. Gorg has. That's true. That's a good point. <laughs> that's true. I don't remember if I ate anything. <laughs> I mean, unless specified, like we haven't been eating consistently since we started. <laughs> really, this just adventure. Leroy. That's actually a really just good. Just a point. bunch of yeah, bread. I hadn't thought about that. Gosh, I feel like I haven't eaten in weeks. Or at least if I have, it's been very nondescript. Uh, yeah, at least at least if I have, it has been, not been anything to write really, home about. Really just about. a couple of omelets. That's about <laughs> it. Just, and chicken pot pies. <laughs> <laughs> Quiz and Leroy have eaten the most. Yeah. Well, so we the, see the table. Do we see any of the people or not so much? 
No. Okay. Uh, in fact, okay. in front of everybody, as well as like the the food that's in the middle of the table that ha- there's like really big like centerpiece dishes. In front of every chair, there is a plate with a silver uh, cover on top of it. Okay. With a little note card, uh, each one having a person's name. So there's already like wow. place cards oh, set shit. up for people. We we arrived here like only a few minutes ago. That's incredible. Yeah, I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know if it's people or if it's the house or I mean I'm I'm I don't know. I'm gonna sit down. I'm pretty hungry. Um, please. I'll be honest. There's already enough things that I'm confused about. <laughs> I don't really. I'm just not gonna yeah. think about this house this right now. Crack the list. Wow. wow. Uh, <laughs> can can we stay? Like, can we stay for dinner? I only know you from like the memories that I'm getting, but I mean, you seem. Besides the criminal stuff, you seem nice. <laughs> yeah, I guess if these doofuses trust you, I... I mean, we can. We've got a room back at the inn. We could. We could just go. I mean, if you guys want to catch up, we can go. Oh gosh, no, jeez, El- Eloise, Bethelda, please. I mean, I Katrina. <laughs> well, you, I'm, no, I'm not going to turn you away. Please, I mean, you've already got a plate. They made the food, so <laughs> please, please sit down. Yeah, yeah. We don't know who yeah, they food. is, but they definitely made the food. Should we eat? Yeah. Sit uh, sit down. <laughs> okay. Stop talking. Everyone, everyone sits food. down. We got we, we have a lot of shit to get we through, really so do, let's yeah. kind of let's get through this. <laughs> okay. Just sit down and start eating food. All right. Perfect. And so everyone enjoys their delicious meal. Yeah. Now, earlier, Rainer, you had uh, when you just found out that you were the yep. hero, you had pulled out the yep. book. The writer, myths and legends, is it true, is it not? Well, we wrote it all down anyway. <laughs> an abridged an abridged version. Of course. Uh, what did you what did you He was trying to look it? up information about the hero because he was just told yeah. that that is a thing that he is now. Uh, he wanted to know has anyone claimed to be the hero before? Are there things that are Ooh. expected of the hero? Uh, stuff like that. Great question. Just quick Google searches. What is what, hero? Oh, yeah, who are who heroes? <laughs> Hero, question mark? <laughs> Hero me, question mark? <laughs> Hero me, question mark. What do? What do? <laughs> <laughs> For dummies, yeah. Yeah, so, yes. So what you find out, um, yep. the hero was uh, originally foretold by, you know, the founding prophet, Anders Duane, in his vision. Anders Duane, yeah. You know, the chords and stuff. And the role uh-huh. of the hero is one person who has free will and the reason they have that free will is to help tell a better story. Now, no one's quite sure right. exactly what that is. Obviously, people have interpreted it different ways. Maybe they have the same powers as the hero. Maybe that just uh-huh. means that their actions, you know, being different than the heroes, allow them to help tell a more diverse story. But their purpose is to make a better story. Right. There have been people who claim to be the hero before. A lot of them were just kind of taken to be crazy because you can't really prove that you have free will that's you know, you know how do you how do you prove that right some of them have a, a mass like small followings like little cult followings uh afterwards but most of them are just kind of pushed to the side and uh discredited mm-hmm. yeah let's say one hero who had or a person who had claimed to be the hero uh called themselves yep. the editor that's the their self proclaimed title all right and they oh, saw yeah. their way the serial yeah. killer whoa their way of making the story better was to go and edit the writer's work so remove and take things out so he he killed people he destroyed huge areas of land and he also had quite a large following too that's pretty messed up yeah. they were crazy they oh, were boy. crazy uh so that happened uh in the past um so yeah people have claimed to be the hero before to answer that question who oh boy was that all that you wanted to find in the book yeah i i think so because i had a couple other questions about like what rainer would or wouldn't know in this world um they don't exactly have to do with the writer though so they wouldn't be in this book okay i don't think well i guess we're doing exposition time might as well sure in. okay so two questions one how does the kingship work uh was he was he born and he was like already a monarch was he elected or something what's yes. this whole situation the king here? is pretty standard monarch rules right if your father was king you'll be the king next or okay. if your husband was king and you have any kids then you'll be the the regis next the, the monarch next queen uh-huh most of the time it's been passed down you do know that recently uh the current king edward 
he did gain the throne by killing his brother at at a really? sun festival okay. recently. Well, not recently, but like... Oh my god. How recently? Uh, at a sun festival? Yeah. That must have put a bit of a damper on well, things. that's why they don't do Jeez. combat festivals anymore. It was 25-ish years ago, so... Wow, okay. Before most of our characters were like old enough to really know what was going on. Wow. The other thing I was wondering about is, does uh, the royal court or whatever, is there like, are there knights? Are there people that the king sends on missions and stuff like that? Uh, yeah. And would I know something? Yeah, so you guys have actually seen a couple knights already. Uh, okay. When you guys were heading back to Goldon from Hidgety, there was a, a group of the army kind of walked past you. Most of the... So how the army works is yeah, yeah. each region has their own militia, such so as people that they recruit. Um, they're not really like full-time soldiers most of the time. And so then they just mm-hmm. gather them up when in need. And then the king okay. does have some knights that, yeah, he'll, mainly the knights here are trained soldiers and they do quest stuff. So like kill this monster or, you know, deliver this right. important message, you know, standard quest shit. But all of the knights, uh, you haven't really seen any since you've been in the city. You assume that all of the knights are off fighting in the war right now. Ah, I yes. see. The war. the war against the Polish and their army of plasti. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my goodness! I guess yeah. King stuff. There have been uh, everyone who is a king right now is currently descended from the first king of Glenwood. Uh, Atheon okay. was his name, and so everyone who's descended from him is said to have Aphonic blood, part of the Aphonic huh. bloodline. But there have been one, two, three deaths in the king's succession. Uh, all done by brothers. Jeez. Oh, interesting. Wow. That stuff that okay. you either knew before this or you talked about at the table. Right. Oh, I'm down. Um, I think Katrina kind of like turns to everyone and she's like, so what are you guys doing here? Well, uh, uh, wait, wait, I mean, I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, uh, we're winning a well, talent we're, show. It's too, too far. <laughs> uh, we're, we're starting a business. Oh, yeah, we started a business. By, by the way, Katrina, do you need some better? <laughs> some what now? Oh, no. Not again. So, okay, Grog, so... Do the thing. Uh, do you have a material? Like a substance? Yeah, like, pick up that fork. Now, imagine that fork, but better. And that's what better is. I'm having a hard okay, time. So, Rainer is so I'll break it down. In stunned silence. All right, so we have stone, and we have metal, taken from the gold on mine. And it's better than everything. So, wait, I thought the Gorbo mine was closed. Well, it, it was, and then it turned blue. <laughs> it turned It turned blue. blue. Yep. Oh, yeah, that. I suppose that was that was a little bit of me on that one. That was, well, that was a lot of bit of me on that one. Well, that was you. I mean, I, di- I did the thing. I did the, the, the fireball into the blue cloud and then th- that went into the mine. Oh, that's impressive. That's that's some dope magic, Chris. <laughs> uh, by, by the way, Katrina, uh, what, do you know which way the kitchen is? Um, I don't. Well, how long have you been here and you don't even know where the kitchen is? Look, I only use like three of the rooms in this place. I, it's not like I just like go look at if I need it. Just the food appears from nowhere. Okay, what do you want from me? <laughs> I'm just saying, I would I would be very curious where my food came from. As he takes another bite, yeah, he's just just go for it. Do you have a bathroom? Uh, yeah, yeah, the bathroom is, go out the door, and it's that one, the one at the end. Yep, nope, not the, nope, yep, that one, no, other, that, yes, that, that's the one. All right, well, we're here for business. Uh, Leroy goes, I have no idea, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know why I'm here, so. Uh, we're here to, me and Eloise and Mathilda, we're gonna compete as well for the music thing. I was kind of hoping to get an audience with the king uh, by winning this competition. So that's what I'm doing. Yep. Uh, everyone works throughout the night on, on rehearsing their speeches or their songs. Quiz, I'm, assu- I'm assuming he's exploring the, the house is what he's doing, right? Oh, yeah. Quiz is hella exploring the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think everyone probably all passes out in like the main like um, entertaining space. There's probably like a lot of like like couches and sitting things and cushions and they all just like have a big big old slumber party <laughs> and quiz just like wanders the house yeah so when when quiz comes out of the bathroom he uh he doesn't know how to get back to the dining area <laughs> um not because it's difficult but because he just didn't pay attention so he just goes into the closest door and it opens up into 
the kitchen. <laughs> Other people? No. No, it's complete it's completely clean. Everything has been put away and hung up and like and and there there is however like like a refrigerator and an ice box or like a like a like a place to keep things cold and there's stuff in there. So he grabs a carrot. Um <laughs> I'm sorry, a and, carrot? Yeah, he grabs a carrot. Okay. No, he doesn't need it. He just grabs. Rainer, it. don't so ask questions like this. Walking okay? around, you have fucking like four rotten cabbages. Uh, excuse you. <laughs> I don't know why so I said that. Walks. <laughs> I was gonna say yes. no, they're not, but they probably are. Let's be real. Go. He goes into the next door, and it's like a pantry, like a spice cabinet pantry thing. But there's a door in the floor, oh. and he's so he opens up the the trap door in the floor, and it's it's just a potato oh. cellar. There's nothing. It's nothing. So he walks out the walks out of the kitchen, finds a staircase, goes downstairs, and the downstairs is this huge sprawling like wine cellar. And he takes out a bottle of wine and replaces it with the carrot, and then he takes the bottle of wine and brings it back upstairs and puts the wine where the carrot was. Um, I mean, sure. This but is a quiz we're talking why? about. This is a quiz. <laughs> All right, this, yeah. this is and then, not then, normal. And then follows the noise to the, the main right, living cool. space to rejoin everybody else. All right, so everyone falls asleep in the entertaining room. So yep. then we can, moving forward, assume that everyone has conversed about what their plan is. So the next day you awaken to the sound of the trumpets again. Everyone makes their way to the uh, arena once again. Yes, got this. Yeah, they didn't really give us like a time. We just kind of have to show up and hope we're not <laughs> the first ones. That's a great question. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's a good system they got, yeah. Uh, so everyone heads towards the arena again. Uh, it's about the same size crowd. Everyone seems to be even more excited because they know that the performances are going to be even better than the day before. I feel like there's probably maybe a few more people that don't bother showing up on the oh, first yeah. day. It's like the people Ooh, that, okay, that, okay. That, that watch like um, American Idol, but they don't watch all of the auditions. Mm-hmm. They only watch after they bring the finalists. Well, I can in. imagine some people take a lot of pride because they get to vote on that first day. But yeah, there's probably some people just like, my vote doesn't matter anyway, Uh, you know? (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) So you you fill the arena. Uh, Again, it's just another beautiful, sunny day. Um, You walk through the Wallace zone (laughs) to get there. (laughs) And sure enough, you get to the arena and you see, well, uh, you actually don't see Wallace. You see his uh, assistant that you had met uh, before kind of at the door and he's like, Okay, everyone, just uh, performers, come in, uh, come in here, please, and everyone else, just uh, take a seat. Uh huh. Okay, Jonathan. Jonathan throws on his disguise. Okay, I'm just gonna say since you've done this disguise already, that you have a good version of it, so we don't need to keep rolling for. Okay, yeah. Wait, which gonna... disguise though? Oh yeah, which one? Your noble mincer disguise? No. The Mesoamerican looking one. Yes. Okay. All okay. Right. What are all the crazy <laughs> the feathers one that stuff? you didn't use yes. at all the day before. Yes. But but that is the one that they saw him wearing backstage when they True. called his name. So so everyone gets backstage, and you, yeah. you recognize everyone who's back there. And so you see uh, the little assistant go up, and he's got a, a scroll, and he runs down the list. He's like, okay, um, is, uh, is, is Chadwick here? <laughs> okay, thank you. Garfunkel. Okay, thanks. Uh, Morgana, yep. Uh, is Quiz here? Yes. Okay, <laughs> Sheila Jefferson? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, the Snapdragons. I see you. Okay, you're snapping. Cool. Um, oh, I forgot about that. Um shit. Yeah. Um. Okay, you've got some um, band aids on you. Okay. Uh, Rainer. Oh man. Uh, Bethilda and Eloise. Yeah, yep, we're, we're here. here. Okay. Uh, Azajax. Okay, you're here. Sancier. God, Azajax made it too. Yep. Tia. Oh, I forgot. Orange Man Group. And the Hatcheteer. <laughs> Okay. I'm so glad you wrote all these <laughs> yeah. down. Everyone is here. That's great. Well, how convenient. That's yeah. good. Uh, so today, it's kind of pretty much the same. We'll say your name. You'll go out there. The judges will vote. And if they like what you do, then you can... Uh, uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Okay. <laughs> cool. So uh, who's first? Uh, so I just want to say, as we're doing this scene too, uh, as we're moving into these last two days, since we have a set list of performers, we don't have to do this if we think it'll take much time, but you can interact with the other performers if you want while you're waiting backstage. Uh, otherwise, we mm-hmm. can just breeze through it if, if you don't have anything you want to do in particular. Yeah, I don't think so. Besides, I think the only performer that uh, I'd want to interact with is um, um, shit, but I don't think he's much of a talker. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so outside, you start hearing the, the crowd cheering, and you see Noble Ooh. Mincer take the stage. Yes. Good people of Coasterine, who's excited oh for some more good shit? Yes, <laughs> I know you are. I know you are. It's going to be a good time. Uh, oh, also, I think since Leroy's not in the show, he's probably the only one in, in the crowd <laughs> right now. Oh, no. <laughs> he's like, yay! <laughs> Like yesterday, right? Yes. Show. Oh, no. Wait, no, Grog's, Grog's, Grog's with yeah. him. Well, I think Grog has become a part of the Jefferson We act. did agree Grog would be a part of the Oh, act. gotcha. Yeah, yeah gotcha. but not Leroy. Oh, shit. Do we have to tell what's-his-face that Katrina is now in as well? Oh, I suppose. But it's not Wallace. It's the other guy. Yeah, you haven't, you have, you haven't oh, seen okay. Wallace yet. You haven't seen Wallace yet. Oh, okay. And so, okay. Noble Mincer continues, Now today, we're going to take everything we saw yesterday, but it's going to be... Even better, plug, plug to that thing I'm sponsoring, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting paid, right? Good. So anyway. Rainer's just like, damn, he's good. Yesterday, <laughs> you beautiful, lovely people at Costa Rica got to vote. And that's the only time you get to vote in this wonderful monarchy. But <laughs> today, you will get to hear the voice of five individuals that the king himself has hand selected to be today's judges, and you know everyone's cheering. They're super excited. They're, oh, totally. they're ready to get this thing going. And so Noble Minster says, "I need everyone to please welcome the burned shards." And as soon as he says that, the entire crowd goes silent, and uh, six people walk in to the arena. The first one being Wallace, kind of leading the group, just kind of pointing them where to go. And the five people who follow behind them are all wearing the same attire. They're all wearing robes that are purple and fade into orange and red near the end. And their sleeves and the bottom of their robe are all burned and tinged and tattered. Uh, they're all walking in a single file line, uh, all solemn and serious. And each one of them is a different ethnicity. One of them is a human, Melatite, kind of looks like everyone else that's from Glenwood. Another one of them is a human but a lot darker in complexion. The third one is an orc that is green like Grorg is. The fourth one is another orc, but it has an ashen gray skin color. And the fifth one seems to be a mix between an orc and an elf. And each one of them oh. is disfigured with scars um, that have been caused, you assume, by, by burns. They have that kind of oh texture God. on them. Most of them have it on their face, and one of them, the ashen orc, has ripped off one of their sleeves to reveal a large scar uh, going up their arm, and you're assuming there are scars underneath the robes. Each one of them is completely silent, has their arms crossed in front of them, and they walk into the center of the arena and face the crowd, which has, again, gone completely silent. Jeez. Okay, everyone, let's try this again. The burn shards! And you've got, you know, the... Just the yeah. half claps. Woo. From backstage. Is... Snapdragons. More snapping. Yeah. Oh. That's good. And <laughs> uh, yeah, those guys those guys look like they're pretty serious. Hold on. Come front. Can you please come up front, please? You Yes? Oh I, I guess, sure, yeah. And then nobody comes up front. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? <laughs> I was I was never here. <laughs> if you so much talk again, I will destroy you. No, the, the, then there's just nothing. There's no voice. You're a smart man. The five burn <laughs> shards uh, walk up through the kind of an aisle in the center of the seats that lead towards the king's box. A little platform in the a center of all the seats that the king would normally sit on this platform when he comes to the arena. And there are five chairs, and each of the burn shards takes a seat at their, uh, at their chair. And Noble Mincer says, Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy... Schedule doing, um, probably burning shit. Um, no. <laughs> hey, they all kind of stare at him. He's like, hey, you know what I mean? That love and respect. Now, <laughs> our performers are going to do their thing. And if the burn shards like it, if all five like what they see, then tomorrow they will perform again for the council. And if the burn shards do not agree, then Jeez. I'm sorry. You had a good run. Now, who's ready to see some acting, singing? The way that he said that, it makes it seem like if we don't do good enough, the burn shards are just going to, like, murder us. I <laughs> yeah, had a I'm good not, run. Like, I'm not saying that's definitely not going to happen. 
They are pretty intimidating. Also, they are the ones who friggin' deformed the Black Slash and set her to a life of crime. That's correct. I don't know how I feel about these guys. They're uh, they're seeming kind of kind of sketchy. There's the same people. Oh, they're good. It's fine. All right, so public pub, public servants. So what's gonna how this is gonna work is uh, each right. of us are gonna do our performing thing, and if you roll higher than a fifteen, it's gonna be that's gonna be our threshold for today. Uh, and if okay. You, right. So if you do better than that, you win. If not. You don't. All right, so we're just going to perform, and I'm just going to pick people at random um, to do it. Okay. And we'll just get this shit going. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, up first, it's going to be the Snapdragons. Sure. Yay. All right. Uh, <laughs> who, who, who wants to roll for the Snapdragons? I'll roll for the Snapdragons. Okay. Yeah. Uh, plus, plus one. Three? Plus three. That is an 11. Okay, oh, no. so that's not going to be good enough. So... Uh, no. Give me, since we only have 14, we can do brief descriptions of each one. Uh, so Snapdragons, they come out. Uh, what is their uh, little dance like? I'm going to say, like, uh, they all got, like, really nice, like, coordinated outfits. Mm-hmm. But um, one of the Snapdragons uh, found out that um, another Snapdragon was sleeping with his with his wife. Oh. What? Um, so midway through... That's happening midway a through lot. This, Midway through the snapping, there's a fist fight that breaks out, but luckily they're able to create a beat with the fist falls. Uh, Whoa. The snapping. So it's not a complete failure, but it definitely did throw yeah, off. Yeah, it did throw it out. So what happens is they do their performance, and Noble says, All right, let's see what the burn shards thought. Uh, each of the burn shards holds out one of their hands, palm upwards, and. Then they set them all on fire and they die. <laughs> three of them have a. Small flame appear in their hands, kind of shifting between uh, green and blue in color, the flame is. Uh, okay. But only three of the five have this flame appearing. And so Noble says, Ooh, that's not good, not, enough. Not good enough. Not all five liked you. So thank you, Snapdragons. But you have uh, just snapped your chance at winning this competition. Okay, <laughs> bye. I do want to you remind... Yeah, everyone snaps, though, for respect. Yeah, of course. For respect. I do want to remind you guys that if these burnt shards don't like anyone, we may have no winners. So, that would suck. Oh, dang. Yeah. Alright, so the also, Snapdragons... Also, people, uh, extramarital affairs also caused the downfall of Stephen Stavinsky. <laughs> <laughs> back in, never, uh, back never before forget. round one. Never yeah. forget Stephen Stavinsky. I feel like every round of this contest, there's, there's some adultery going on. <laughs> <laughs> every level. Oh, no. All right, up next is going to be Sheila. Cool. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Sheila, let's see what you got. All right, roll first, and I'll determine how good your joke has to be. Right. What is she? What is she? Uh, Sheila, he has plus zero. Oh, that's right. The, the comedian. Oh, uh, that is a 16, my dude. Oh, okay. my goodness. Um, so we can pause it if you need to think of your joke. No, I, I, I got a good one. Okay. All right, so Sheila walks out, and the crowd, you know, cheers. Cheers for Sheila. And here's one of the pieces from... Sheila's performance. So it's it's great to be back in in Coasterine. It really is. It's great to be back. Uh, I was here a few week a few a uh, few weeks ago, and um, I decided to stop in at one of the local inns. By the way, you, you got to have a place to go. You know, everywhere. You know, if you're if if you if you travel a lot, you got to have your favorites because just don't pick a place out of the blue. So I decided to go to this place. I don't even remember the name of it. I think it burned down probably a couple years ago. <laughs> the no. burn but, shards um, are just like. Staring intently after you say that. <laughs> also, Jeez. you came here a few weeks ago, but it burned down a few years ago. <laughs> don't, 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 don't mess with my continuity. <laughs> what I said a few weeks ago, I meant a while ago. Time is what. Anyway, so I, uh, <laughs> so I, I walk in and it's like, hey, can I have a room? And they're like, no, you can't. We own the, we own the inn. And I was like, yeah, I realize I can't, I can't purchase a room, but like, can I have a room for the night? I said, how many nights? The the night I said the night that's all I, that's all I need. How will you be paying? How will you be? I, I was like, is he joking? I thought I thought we only had one form of currency, but then I thought, well, hey, you know, if I can pay with, you know, whatever. So I'm like, I will pay with everything that I have in my pocket. He got kind of excited. He was like, oh, really? Everything you got? Okay. Uh, what one room is that all? I said, yep, shake on it. So he uh he extends his hand. I extend my hand. We shake on it. I'm like, boom! I got nothing in my pocket. Free room. Let's go. <laughs> he was he was not very happy. Uh, needless to say, I uh, I had to find a new place to stay that night. And um, <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, uh, that like 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 I said, gotta have your favorites. Anyway, that that's all for me tonight. Uh, <laughs> You're just the one show. Wait, that was it. <laughs> Uh, I, I no, missed... you said that was an excerpt, so it was true, just yeah. like the end. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, the burn shards stick out their hands, and they all kind of stare at each other. <laughs> but then all five flames go up. Noble's like, "Sure, I will never understand their humor." But all right, <laughs> that I didn't even know they had it. Maybe, and then he whispers under his breath, "Maybe they don't understand humor, and they're oh, just no. voting this guy through because they don't want to seem." Like they're stupid. <laughs> they're just <laughs> It's right. a real Emperor's Good job, Sheila. situation. Yeah. You dumb fuck. <laughs> the Emperor's new humor. Alright. Up next is the Hatcheteer. Ooh. Yeah. Alright, what does he have? Plus what? She has plus four. Ooh. It's a ten. It's not good enough. But what happens? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh so the Hatcheteer brings out their little stool and their piece of wood. And they grab their hatchets and get ready to start. And as they're going through, they start... Ma- Again, beautiful, beautiful uh, portrait of Noble Mincer. But this time, mm. he's wearing a different hat. Um, <laughs> but he looks away to kind of gloat towards the audience. You know, kind of show off a little bit. And as he's not paying attention, he cuts off Noble Mincer's head. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, like, not Noble Mincer, but like yeah, yeah, the, statue, the statue, obviously. Yeah, uh, no, we got that. Back and and he just like... <laughs> He just, like, throws his hatchets down and just kind of leaves. Oh, no. Uh, the burn shards uh, put out their hands. Only one of them lights, and they stare at <laughs> Noble Mincer. Noble Mincer's like, I fucking knew it. I never did like you. <laughs> I mean, you got them shifty eyes or something. And the burn shard starts lowering their hand again. Noble's like, jeez. I'm fucking talking to you after. All right, you're done, bitch. It's dark. <laughs> Uh, next is Morgana, the glass archer. Oh, I'm so excited for Morgana. I hope she does well. She gets plus six, so she better. 18. Uh, Ooh. Crushes it. What does she do? This time, instead of a bow and arrow, um, she comes out uh, onto the performing area, and she has, like, a belt. Like, you know how, like, in old westerns, they have, like, the crossed bandoliers of bullets? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's the same way, except with knives. Oh, my goodness. And so she grabs, like, five or six of them in each hand and then stomps her foot. And all around her in a circle, a bunch of, like, glass targets pop up simultaneously. And she just starts spinning and throwing all at once. And she gets all of them before they hit the ground. And then one more really, really high. um, And she throws a knife at the bottom of the target and makes it spin. And as it's spinning, throws another knife and hits it right through the center. Whoa. The crowd loves it. God loves it. And obviously all five burn want her shards to win. stick with their hands and, and all five are uh, give her the approval. Nice. Wahoo. Good job. I like that. We agree for once. I'm still watching you. Okay. <laughs> Let's see who's next. It's going to be the Orange Man group. Oh, I got this one. Oh, good. All right. We're rolling. Here we go. Plus three. Plus three? Mm-hmm. That's a 14. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. oh that's rough. What happens? Oh, no. Um, and they can do a good job in the burn shot. Yeah, like yeah. Them. Absolutely. Um, there doesn't have to be any adultery in this yeah. one. <laughs> or chopping of heads. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't bad enough for adultery oh, no. or murder. What they're trying to do to take... Because they had... I want to say they had drums last time, right? Yeah. Um, what they're trying to do to take it to the next level is, like, they're doing the drums, but they're, like tossing the sticks to each other to keep mm-hmm. continuing it um oh. but one of those throws i think goes awry so now they're just down a drumstick and mm-hmm. they have fewer than they need so it kind of peters out and doesn't go Is quite how they were hoping for it to Is there any crazy and this magic? time uh yeah but this time people notice it so it's not nearly as impressive like there's like, this one dude, they like... They weren't distracted, like, hey, yeah. Throwing dust in the background, making the sky look purple, like... Oh, yeah, no yeah. Look. <laughs> yeah, see what you're doing. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, which dude does that? I don't know. One of the orange men, I guess. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying which guy in the audience notices the magic? Oh, it's got... Jamie, it's gotta be your guy. Hey, 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 that guy's, I guess, doing something to make it <gasps> Shut the weird. fuck up, I'm trying to watch. <laughs> You speak I didn't really again. have anything for him to say this time. <laughs> and so the burn shards, only four of them give yeah. the approval. Uh, Not quite good five. enough. It, it has to be all five. It has to be all five. I think so, yeah. All five. Yep. And they, Dang. they leave mm-hmm. in silent, but heads held high in their disappointment. All right. 
Well, good for them. Yeah. We're going from one drummer to the next because Garfunkel is next. All right. Oh, boy. I'm also rolling for him. What did we give him for a number? Plus three. Plus three. Oh, that's a 16. All right. Well, we barely hey. made it. What is Garfunkel fan. Do? Maybe he's just yelling the whole time. Maybe he's like he's playing his drums, but he's also just like constantly yelling, and for some reason it works. <laughs> it just it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was just like I don't really get it, but I respect the energy. Yeah, the burn charge. I'd go to that concert so fast. Yeah, I, it's a new musical genre. It's called Gurnge. The burn shards approve. All right, excellent. All right, up next. Up next is Chadwick. All right. The weapon juggler. Heck yeah. All right, what does he get? Uh, plus five. Oh, no. Oh. No, Chadwick. Um, he rolled a one uh, plus oh. five. What happens, Jake? Oh, uh, no. Chad- Chadwick forgot his weapons. No. <laughs> this is like Chadwick. Cart- yeah. Oh, his, his card of weapons got stolen. No, yes. Whoa. Yes, exactly. He he comes out on stage. He's very, he's very upset. He says, sorry, I'm going to have to step down. I'm not going to be able to, to to go forward with this. The crowd gasps um, in dismay. <gasps> Chadwick, we loved you. Thank you. It fills me with righteous happiness to know that you guys are rooting for me. But if anyone knows who took my cart of weapons, kind of not cool. Like, seriously, because I kind of needed those. That's like my one skill. So anyway, oh. if, you, if you guys find it, uh, bring it. Bring it to uh, the Wallace Zone. I'm gonna be hanging out there with my buddy Wallace, and uh, just you know, just not cool, bro. Seriously, sorry guys, no more performance from me. He, he goes backstage, and I think Wallace just gives him like one of those like bro hugs, where it's like it's tight, it's tight, you know. Oh, it's disappointing. Like, yeah, Jedwick, I'm sorry that uh, your style was uh, was interrupted. Yeah. I'll be fine. I'll yeah, be fine. You car. know, that's just. It's just sometimes, you know, sometimes you sometimes you do really good, and sometimes you just don't do anything at all, you know? That's <laughs> how the world works. Yeah. Shadow is out. All right, up next. Who does the dice choose? All right, up next is Rainer, Bethilda, oh, and man. Eloise. Come on out. Okay, here we go. All right. And was, Katri- was Katrina part of their no, act, no, no, or no, was no. Katrina part of... Uh, okay. Uh, the Jefferson act. So this is what I'm thinking. We did Oh Great City for the first round, and the other ocarina songs I have written down, I don't think they super lend themselves to a big audience concert setting. So what if what if it's a song that the two women, they already knew, and oh. I'm just hopping on board with them this time, you know? Oh, it's like one of their songs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's also a nifty way of me shifting... Fuck you. The, <laughs> <laughs> the work onto you guys. But they've got to have, like, if they were planning to enter this competition, they've got to have something they were already working on, right? Right. They've got to. Jake, what kind of song do you want it to be? Like, what style? Well, I mean, the the previous one was more um, kind of, like, like folky, kind of lyric-y. Mm-hmm. So maybe this one is more more, like, upbeat, more, more like a party song. Okay, okay. Yeah. I think this song, it's one of those songs that doesn't have a name, but it's its one of those songs that are played at at weddings or just like joyful celebrations all the time. And Is it like big in their hometown? Yeah, maybe Yeah, maybe yeah. it's from, from their hometown. And so they grew up knowing how to play it really well, but it's not like everybody knows it. I think some people might know it, but not, not everybody. Now remember, Rainer, yep. as you roll this dice... Oh boy! You do have advantage. Do I? Because of your amplifier. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. The amplifier. <laughs> okay. All right. First roll. Okay, that was a sixteen. So that'll be plenty if we add to it. Hey. Um, I guess I could stop rolling, right? Let's see what the other one is. Okay. Okay. We've, we've been forgetting to do it. Let's get that justice. The second one was a six, so that okay, would yeah, not so... be enough. So you did it, and and so here's the song right here, and yeah, it's great. Again, uh, everyone's enjoying. Is is PB playing this time? We forgot to have him play last time. Oh shit! Yes. All right. I think if everyone loves a, that. They're just there's like there's a part. There's oh yeah, sure. There's, like a, there's a little bit where PB plays. Kinda, I mean, yeah, yeah. He kind of sings, I guess. Yeah, and I think everyone goes crazy <laughs> about that. They're like, oh, it's a singing bat. 
Ah, oh, that's crazy! And Chadwick from backstage is like, that is amazing. I can't believe it's not, it's just a bat. I really enjoy that style of bat singing. <laughs> Do we want to name the song or come up with that later? Oh, uh, let's, yeah, give it just a quick song. Name. How about, I'm trying to think of like, names of flowers or something, like the marigold or something. You could do the state uh, flower of uh, Minnesota, the the fairy slipper. <laughs> is that a real flower? <laughs> no. Yes, it is. It's the lady slipper. The lady slipper? Well, okay, there's the lady slipper, and then there's there's a second. There's also a fairy. It's not, yeah. Fairy slipper is way better. Let's go with that one. Please, please, Jake, when Jamie asks, is that a real thing? Tell him the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay, that is a real flower. Which one? The fairy? <laughs> I'm confused. Both. Okay, they're both real. All right, I've got the Google right here. I'm looking it up. Well, I, ah, want, it, I want the song to be called Fairy Slipper, because I think that sounds funny. <laughs> it's the Calypso Bulbosa. Yeah, I just Googled it, too. Okay. All right, it's called Fairy Slipper. Is the name of the song. Perfect. Got it. And all Excellent. five Best song. burn shards uh, give their... Approval. How does Rainer feel about this? He is... Rainer might not know who these people are, actually. Oh, shit. Actually, you're right. Rainer's the one person who doesn't know yeah. that they did this to the Black Slash. Because he wasn't even there when she was telling the story. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, so he just... He doesn't know these people. He's just, uh... He's just playing this song that he didn't know before yesterday, but he does his best, and it must work out, because uh, the crowd liked it, and the people liked it, so... <laughs> Rainer... Uh, Rainer was like, Yay! Oh, the back can sing! Whoa! That's dope! Boy, I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up, Leroy, on some other stuff at some point. <laughs> like literally everything. Literally everything. Yeah, I feel bad. Ah, if only all of this was recorded, and I could just listen to it. Mm. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? All right. Uh, so, Rainer, you go backstage. Um, yeah. That's this is, is an important moment. Let's do a, just a quick bit of like. But Phil does. She's like, oh, we did it. Oh, we we made it. That went so well, you guys. I'm really happy with that. That was awesome. And Louise, like, sticks her arm out like like she's about to do a mic drop, but it's with her flute, and Bethilda has to, like, grab no. her arm. Like, <laughs> she catches it as she drops it. We she's still like, did nope. that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Just, like, double fist pump. Like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and Gorg says backstage, she's like, you know, if it was made of better, you could drop it, and it'd be okay. Would, would it, though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of better. No. <laughs> Uh, Are they up next? Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, up next is the beautiful, the attractive, I don't know why, but Jefferson is up. And I think Jonathan just, like, he there's no, like, production or whatever, he just walks out on stage, but he's wearing the, like, ridiculous feather apparel. Wait, so it's who like, are you? Like, what? Who are you? I'm, I'm Jefferson. Now keep in mind, during the first round, you walked on stage as Noble Mincer. Yes. <laughs> Just, just throwing yes. that out there. Are Gorg and Katrina walking out too? Yes. Perfect. How does Katrina feel about being on the stage as a criminal? Not great, actually. That's a really good point. Hmm. I think maybe, I think maybe Katrina asks Jonathan to disguise her. Okay, okay. Which, which means I have to do because a disguise he has the disguise role. kit. Yes. Perfect. Uh, do I get an advantage or a disadvantage for disguising somebody nope. else? Nope. Same role. Okay. Okay. So the disguise kit is... Oh, that is a 20. Okay. Ooh. She is whoever she wants to be. Or you love it. Be. Okay. <laughs> just like it should be. She's whoever she wants to be. <laughs> yeah. That's the real takeaway here, folks. Right. Just be who you want to be. Yeah. Disguise yourself. Don't let other yeah. people see your pain. Lie. <laughs> Lie to everyone. All the time. She decides to dress... She decides to disguise herself as somebody not from Costa Rica because most of the people from Costa Rica are there uh -huh. and would look at her weird if she came out as... Uh, she disguises herself as Taylor. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they go out there, All and right. Jonathan... Uh, so what did your uh, hula skirt give you an advantage in? Like, it gives you a plus one to something. Um, I think it was, like, your charisma, right? Yes. And what is Katrina's probably charisma again, I'm assuming? Katrina's yeah. Nice. All right. Roll something for this <laughs> shindig. Okay. It's, since you're selling, it's going to be persuasion. If that's where you're okay. doing. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is an 11 from Jonathan. Let's see if Katrina can maybe do better. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. No, that's that's totally fine, actually. Katrina rolled an 18. Uh, I said, oh, no, because she has a negative one to charisma, but since she's dressed up as Taylor, she has a plus one. So oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah there we void. go. So she just rolled a nat 18. <laughs> so Jonathan comes out and he goes, 
all right, bitches, so we're going to talk today. And Katrina says, we're going to talk about our product. <laughs> I, think, I think it starts off with, like, everyone's like, oh, that's not a noble mentor lookalike. Oh, we're kind of disappointed about that. <laughs> and yeah. but Katrina does a genuine, like, actual sales pitch. Mostly she just kind of, like, says things that sound like a good sales pitch, but leaves blanks in what she says so Grog can, like, input the, the names <laughs> and product stuff. Perfect. I want to have it to have, like, a, it's got, like, a Billy Mays kind of vibe to it, maybe. <laughs> but at the end, she's like, and honestly, guys, if you don't if you don't buy any of this, you'll be at home just thinking to yourself, wow, I can't believe it's not better. And it could be. It could be for you. And Grog wraps it up with, and everything is better with better. And the audience joins in because they've heard it like oh, yeah, six yeah. times now. They He's have, like, they're, say they're it with fans. us. Everything's better with better. Bad, better with better. <laughs> we will see you out in the in the town square next to the statue of the king. <laughs> if you mention the product code better, uh, you will get, if you buy one better, you'll get one for the same price. So thank you. <laughs> yep. That is how and that works. The burn shards uh, turn to each other. They kind of... One of them leans over to whisper, and then they all, they all five of them vote. Also, I love how their air quotes style is just salesmanship. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> I love your style. The style. It's just a commercial. That's all it is. And isn't that what... This is a critique of capitalism yeah. right here. <laughs> just, it's a very it's political a satire, yeah. You have to have a really you have to have quite the intellect to understand Night's Quest. It's very, sat- it's very satirical. Yeah. Well, we've still got a couple people left. <laughs> um, let's get cruising. All right, Sanseer, the steel drum player. Quick, go. All right, what is he at? I got plus five. Ooh. Oh, no, oh, no, that is an eight. He rolled a three. <gasps> okay, oh, no. so just quick, what happens to Sanseer? Uh, Sanseer has his drum backwards, so he plays uh, <laughs> the wrong notes, and it just no. it takes him some time to like figure it out, and he just can't recover. Only one burn shard gives a, a flame up, uh, and so obviously that's not going to do it. Bye, Sanseer. Well, I'm sorry, Sanseer, but I am sincerely sorry. That you will not make it. Just kidding. I have no feelings in that area. <laughs> oh, hey, right. it's kind of like a pun because his name is... Uh, Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. I will. I will murder you. You You have seen people die here in this arena this week. <laughs> you will be the next. <laughs> Azajax comes out next. Oh, heck yeah. Oh no, Zajax only rolled a 12. Uh, so he goes out, he's like, Hello, hello, fellow Costarinians. And everyone goes, Nope, that's <laughs> wrong, get out. <laughs> oh no. She's like, <laughs> immediately. He's like, I'm sorry, what? Get a chance. Wow. I'm sorry, what happened? And everyone just got really upset that he dared to call them Costarinians, which is, that is incorrect. And he's like, but I'm going to wow. sell you, I was going to, I've got things, and he like opens up his coat, and this just like beautiful, sparkling, majestic magic items. He starts levitating a little bit. He makes ex- like fireworks happen, but it's just booze. And is, it, co- is that is that name just way too close to a city that they're rivals with or something? <laughs> no, they're not. They're not a fan. Yeah, it's just. I think Noel Winter says, "Listen here, bitch. One thing you need to know about Costarine <laughs> is that oh, no. no one fucks up our name or how dope we are, and you did that." You're so wait. And everyone is just like clapping like crazy. Like everyone's just loving Noble. Oh, yeah. Then, then, everyone, then everyone what would the term out? be? Uh, Costa Rites. Uh, oh, God. Oh, that sounds worse. Because like Costa Rinian is the only one that makes sense. Wait, no, hold on. Hold on. How about it, it's Costa Rinian, but he said Costa Rinian. And that's. Oh, ah, they fucked go. it up. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. How dare you? How dare you? Butcher Unacceptable. our name. And <laughs> Ajax is like, I am really confused about the standards of this competition. All right. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that's fair. That's understandable. <laughs> I think the bird shards don't even hold their hands. They just shake their head. They just shake their head. <laughs> are all the, are all the, the, the burn shards like local Costarinians? Oh, mm-hmm. well. Probably. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Up uh, next is um shit. Oh, yes. man. Yes. All right. Up next is, oh, no. Um, shit. It's um shit. What is, How a is two, he right? going right. to take this to the next level? Jake, Jake, I want you to roll the dice. Don't tell me yep. what the result is, and just tell me what happens. And okay. if he succeeds, that's how we'll know. <laughs> okay. Okay. So he walks out on stage, but this time, instead of holding a crossbow, 
he is holding um, a rather large uh, scimitar. Everyone's like, oh, and, no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> and uh, he stands out in front of the audience with the scimitar just in front of him in both hands. I'm already so worried. He starts to toss it back and forth between his hands, just like at a short distance. But then he starts to widen his hands and to- and like is tossing it across his body farther and farther apart and then once it gets to his right hand and his arms are like almost outspread he arcs it up over his head and tries to catch it with the other hand and uh it just lands right in his foot oh <laughs> no. completely in the same foot that Not happened again. last time yeah <laughs> this poor man and he's so he's just standing there for a second just in complete shock <laughs> and uh he holds out his hand <laughs> And somebody from the side stage brings him another scimitar. No! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, no. This can't just be an entire competition of this poor man, like, hurting himself. No, the person bringing the scimitar trips and the scimitar stabs into his neck and he dies. The oh tripping guy? God. Or um shit? Um shit, um shit died. I rolled a two minus two oh, as a zero. Yeah. Oh, my I, God. He's... He dies. There's no. There's no way he's coming so back. So the guy that. ran out, tripped, threw the sword, and it went no. into um shit. That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> um shit died, and the burn shards yeah. just uh, they they stick oh. out nothing. There's no flames. <laughs> they're just like yeah. No. Oh I mean, that, those are two terrible, terrible rolls, and there is freaking zero. There's no way he comes back from that. That's what happens when you do dangerous stuff, man. God, that's so sad. Walson and his assistant run out, drag the body of um shit uh, off the stage with a trail of blood. And Nolan's just like, all right, I lied. Motherfucker in the audience, you were not the next one to die. <laughs> oh, shit was. But you're the next one. <laughs> no, I promise. I promise. <laughs> okay, we've only yep, got two I left. Mean, that's what you do when you roll the dice. Jeez. Take a chance. Only two left. Who's it going to be? It's my boy, Quiz. Oh, boy. Okay, and I think Quist just comes out on stage. He has no idea what the heck's going on. Because <laughs> he didn't really have an act the first <laughs> no, time either. Didn't. Nope. I think he just like looks out at the audience again, and he's like, "Okay, everybody, put your hand into your pocket." Uh, hold on, you got to roll <laughs> persuasion on that, because <laughs> last time he was <laughs> he was lucky. That's why he did it. Oh right, does he still have the necklace? Uh, yeah, Leroy doesn't know what that is. You know what? He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna spin the necklace. All right, don't forget to flip a coin oh too. Oh God! Right. So heads is positive, tails is negative. Okay, so that's a tail, so it's minus. And oh, minus your no. Check. This can't go well. Minus two on the d20. Uh, that is an eight. All right, eight. Okay. Uh, this, <laughs> I think, uh, does Quiz still all have it, Have all his gold with him? I, I don't think he can carry all of it. I mean, he probably has a bunch of okay. it. Okay, I think he all of a sudden just feels his pocket get slightly lighter as he loses five gold pieces. Oh, <laughs> That's it. Okay, he he spins it again because that was pointless. <laughs> <laughs> I think he spins it and he's like, oh. Uh, it's tails again. All right. Jeez. Hopefully it's better. That's six. Oh my six God. total? Okay, yeah. you now have disadvantage on your next dice roll. Okay, perfect. I'm going to roll again. No. I'm, wait, for the fucking eminent of chance? You're going to have to roll for disadvantage though. Yeah. Jake, your character could die. Yep. No. So... If he if he lands on one, he will die. All right, I'm just letting you know this. I'm um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I rolled twice, and both times it was a one. What? My first roll was a three minus two. My next roll was a two minus two. No. Okay, now hold on. Now hold on, though. <laughs> you motherfucker. Why so do the we worst keep doing one this? is zero. The worst one is zero. Correct. Yes. All right. This is you don't have anything for oh, zero. Oh, I do. do you? No, um, we did zero. We had him lose all his memories. Nope, that was. Wait, hold on. I thought no, that it was, was zero. zero. That yeah. was zero. So then, Quiz spins the amulet, and he's no. just been spinning it, right? He spun it, spun it, spun it. Yep. And then it lands on the zero. And then, Quiz, you wake up. You're in the room with the straw, the castle. Oh shit! And there's Mirjik, and he's okay. got. He's holding your cord. Uh, you can you can see it even though you haven't eaten the bread. He's holding it in his hand, and it's like okay. going from your head to him. Jamie, can you roll a d twenty? Yeah, yeah. I got a net twenty. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything when it comes to me. Yeah, no, that's it. why I'm that's why okay. I'm so intrigued. So here's the scene. Uh, Quist, you are in the room with Mirjik, sitting floating above his throne, holding your cord in his hand, 
and he has this huge smile on his face, but it's a creepy one. And he goes, of course. Oh, Quiz. My little yep. tiny Quiz. Yep. Did you hear that comedian earlier today? Yes. He sucked. <laughs> it was trash. But I know a really funny joke that I can tell you. What's that? What's that? So, once there was a wizard who was given authority and power over a whole domain of magic. Let's call it magic. And he decided to keep on playing that game of chance. Oh, is, it, is this me? Is it? You, <laughs> shush, shush, shush. You, just, you just say me. <laughs> and you feel, actually, you feel you're not able to speak partway because he pulls the cord and tightens it. Shush! Yeah. You, you just see? Speak. Nope, and you, you can't talk. It's like you're choking. You see, Quiss, I have you as my little servant, my uh, ambassador to the world, and beforehand I had not quite decided what I wanted you to do. Thankfully, you have been good servant and you have been being crazy and sporadic but that's not quite enough for me and he tightens it even closer and by lifting up the cord Quiss you feel yourself being lifted into the air until he holds you dangling you right in front of his forehead and he says the writer has never been a fan of me intervening but he can't get mad when people play my little games so with that in mind he twangs the cord and Quiss, your mind is completely wiped clean. And he says, This is the second time I've had to do this now, and I wasn't quite a fan of how it turned out last time. So instead of just wiping it clean and letting Rainer remind you of your memories, I think I'm going to rewrite this character. 